What's up, Deep Sea Divers? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Subnautica Let's Play. Um, this is episode 16, and we are going to start building our base today. I've just been spending some time doing some gathering. Um, I think we've got enough materials, and I've got a drawn-up schematic type thing on a notepad right next to me. Um, first of all, we are going to build a hallway right up the middle that it's going to be empty, and that's going to be kind of like an entrance hallway that's going to take us to the rest of the parts of the base. Um, second to the right, we are going to have a storage room. And then to the right of that, we're going to have some fish. Um, we're going to have some, uh, uh, alien containment. They're not called aquariums. They're called alien containment. And, uh, those, I'm not really sure what those are for. I think those, yeah, those are going to be for food. Those are going to be fish that we're going to use for food. All right. Um, to the left of the main entrance hallway is going to be power. Um, I'm going to be using all different kinds of power. There is... There's really a best way to do power, and there's not so best ways to do power. Um, I'm gonna use all forms of power. Just, just I just want to show off, you know, all forms of power. So I'm gonna be using all forms of power. And this first power room is going to be uh, is gonna be the um, what is it called? The bio bio reactor. Okay. And then um, I'm gonna have two rooms going up the bio reactor room. That's gonna go to um, fish rooms as well, uh, like fish tanks, alien containment. And those fish are gonna be specifically to feed into the bio reactor. Um, moving up the entrance hallway, I'm going to call the middle hallway that's going to be empty, the entrance hallway. Moving up the entrance hallway on the second on the second uh, room to the left is going to be more power. And that will probably be either nuclear power or some other kind of power. I'm not really sure yet. Most of the power is going to be on the left in the beginning. Um, past that, I'm going to have uh, the third hallway is going to lead to the scanner room. And that's all I've got planned so far. Um, but the way I've built the base, it's very, it, in my brain, it's very module modular modular <laughs> i don't know how you say it um but it basically it leaves room for expansion so i'm really excited about it let's get going i need to get all this stuff in here i want to show you what i've been farming so here's all of the titanium i've gotten i'm going to go ahead and do some eating and then we're going to go to our base um i'm gonna i decided to live where i showed you guys last time um i figured out a way to deal with the 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 flora coming through the goddamn floor um it's not ideal, but it'll work. Uh, go ahead and do this. There we go. I don't know why. I, I'm used to pressing escape to get out of menus, by the way. I went ahead and put down a beacon at the uh, base. It's called Headquarters HQ. Um, right somewhere. Well, whatever. I can't see it right now, but we'll see it in a minute. We're just going to turn this big bad boy around. And it should be right behind us. And so there it is, headquarters. So there we go, that's going to be our base. Yeah, I mean, I, I just want to make everything, like, in this base for no reason, no good reason. I just want to do it. I'm going to make extra... I'm going to make extra um, power power rooms for no reason. Uh, my main power would be either geothermal or nuclear. Uh, I could also um, probably... I don't think the sun is going to get down to this base, but I, what I could probably do is... Am I moving forward? It doesn't feel like it. Just to prove to you guys I'm not stuck on anything. I'm nowhere near anything. Why was I not moving forward? Man, that was weird. My, um, my Cyclops is kind of like, like on an angle, like a slanty angle. And, and like, I couldn't get it to go forward. I could get it to turn. I could get it to move up and down. It just wouldn't, it just wouldn't go forward. So I took my, um, I took my Seamoth out and I just slammed into the back. And I think it kind of jarred it loose. So, let's see. Yep, we're moving. Okay. Oh, thank God. I did not want to have to make another freaking goddamn... <laughs> one of these, man. Forget that. So, when I last left you guys, I was having problems with the... Um, with the grass coming through the floor and I figured out a solution. It's it's kind of weird how I came to it, but I did figure out one. Uh, if you remember correctly, I couldn't get the, uh, I couldn't get the um, foundation to like come off the, like out of the ground that much, but I built these kind of foundations kind of on top of them. And um, yeah, you could build foundations on top of foundations, I guess. So that's what I did. So that works out. So um, is this where I want to make the entrance? Uh, um, 
You know, I kind of want it to move it back a little bit. Kind of want to move it back a little bit. Okay. Let's move this right here. Now, can I take these apart? I'm kind of curious. I can take this one apart. I don't want to make any more of these than I have to. Can I take this one apart? Yes, I can. And that means I could probably take this one apart as well. Let's make another platform. I want the entrance to be pretty much like over here. Alright, so we'll do this. There was about 50 ways I could have... I could have done this. Um, I think this is going to be the best though. God, this is going to be sweet. Alright, so is that good for an entrance? Well, the entrance is going to be... The entrance is going to be a moon pool. So that should probably be even farther off the ground. And then go down into the base. Yeah, I don't want the moon pool being too close to the ground. Um, you know what? You know what? I think this one uh, could come out. And I think we'll just make the moon pool. But I want the moon pool to be up farther. Let's pick this up. Uh, so I want the moon pool to be up further. So what can go up? So can these go like... How does this go? How do you... Oh, Q and E. Alright, so these can't go up and down. Is there anything that can go up and down besides this? I guess not. So I think what we'll do is... I think what we'll do is we'll take this out. Caution. 30 seconds oh boy, of hold on. Remaining. Let's get some... Uh, let's get the Seamoth out. I don't like the I don't like the moon pool being so close to the ground. I kind of want the moon pool to be up a little bit, and then a little hallway going down into the base. That could be, I think that would be cooler for some reason. I don't know why. It just would, okay. <laughs> um, okay, so what am I gonna need for the moon pool? We need titanium. Oh god, I need four titanium ingots. Well, hell, four lubricant. Ugh. We'll go back to the other base and grab some of that. Uh, grab the. I think I'll take the moon pool apart at the other base for now. But I'll do that off camera. For now, let's just uh, do this. And let's deconstruct this. Crap, I dropped stuff, didn't I? Oh no, I must have said just enough. So the moon pool can go directly into the empty thingy mabob. Yeah, that can work. Actually, no, it won't work. It can't go directly down. Never mind, that's not going to work at all. Um, I really don't want the moon pool being this low. Alright guys, I just took apart the, um, the moon pool here. Because I don't want to have to deal with uh, making another one right now. I'll eventually put the moon pool back. But as I was pulling up with the, uh, you know, as I was pulling up with this thing, with the Cyclops, I, I never took the Seamoth out of the Cyclops. So it's not really that big of a deal. I'll eventually have moon pools everywhere. It's just not right now. I just, it's not that big of a deal. So we got to get back to headquarters. I did come up with a design I liked. I actually put the moon pool right where, you know, that foundation I laid down was. I put the moon pool right next to it and it worked, but it was way too close to the ground. Whenever I, um, whenever I, you know, drive my uh, Seamoth underneath that thing, I would always, like, probably bang it into the ground or something, because it is really, like, close to the ground. Like, maybe a couple feet off the ground. Way, way too close to the ground. So I come up with a better idea. Um, an idea I like a lot more, and you guys will see it in a minute. Yeah, the moon pool is way too close, man. I'm like, oh my god. It left enough room for, this, for the Seamoth, but barely. So I got a little setup right here I think you guys are going to like. I think it's pretty cool. I'm going to bring this right up to it. Oh, no. Alright, that's good enough. Okay. Alright, let's take the sea moth so we have some uh, oxygen we can get when we're down there. And I'm going to show you exactly what I did. So you can see right here, I've got like the, uh, we parked the sea moth right here in the, um, in the moon pool, we'll come into here, go down there, and then go into the main part of the base. Uh, much, much better design, I think. 
So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and make this. And then I think we're gonna have to put a ladder in the uh, main part of the base. And then that's it. We gotta get this. We gotta get this base some power. I'm going to make solar panels because I'm kind of curious if they will work at 100 meters. I kind of hope not because I don't. I part of the reason to be down this low is because they weren't supposed to work. All right, I'll make that in a minute. Actually, what I need titanium and quartz. All right, let's go get it. We're gonna need it. Titanium and quartz. Come to Papa. Right now, I'm just keeping things in these lockers because they're closer. Uh, did it say titanium and quartz or? Yeah, I just need the titanium. Okay, got that. And we got that. Okay. Okay, we've almost got everything that's important out of our other base, too. So, that's nice. What was I making? Oh, yeah, this. Oh, that's getting power. Oh, I'm, I'm 100 meters under. Power restored. I'm 100 power meters down. Uh, that sucks. Next season, I'm definitely going to build in the Grand Reef. I'm going to build like 500 meters underground just to make sure Welcome I don't get any board, sunlight. Captain. I mean, it's nice to have the power, but still. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. All right, so we got to build a, uh, a ladder here. Uh, no, I kind of want it on that side. Does it have to go on that side? Ah, that's not cool. Really? That's the side it has to go on, huh? Ah, it blows. I don't like it on that side. Oh, well. Because now we're going to have to walk around it. Ugh. God, that's lame. We'd have to walk around it either way, but... And this will be the main part of the base. Alright, so this is going to go... We're going to go right with this because we, I want to start making... Oh, oh, that's cool. So at least you, you only have to move around when you come down here. I still don't like that. I don't think there's a better option, though. I don't think there's a better option. At least none that I can think of. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna put, I'm gonna put as many glass corridors in here as I can. Okay, so that goes right there. Hull strength is now two. That means it's about to crash and burn. Another way you can uh, help with hull strength is by putting uh putting foundations underneath. And I guess I could do that. It just takes a lot of uh, a lot of materials, but that's okay. So we'll put this right here, right there, right? Yes. And that should give me. Oh wow, that only gives you 0 0.2 hull strength. Oh, that's garbage. I don't like that. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go and set... Let's put a hatch right here. Uh, I need more glass. I'm going to put a hatch right there so when I'm not parking the Seamoth inside, although I guess I should be parking the Seamoth inside, but whatever. If I don't want to park the Seamoth inside for some reason, I'll have a hatch to get in through. Although it's kind of pointless because you can always just swim underneath the moon pool, but whatever. Actually, maybe I shouldn't make these things out of glass. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah. You know what? It's probably not a good idea to make these out of glass. Because, um, I'm going to need a lot of glass for a lot of different things. And then we're just going to have to go get more quartz. Although I do like the ones on the outside being made out of glass, maybe. We could always put glass in, right? How much is one of these glass thingamabobs? That's two glass. And that's two glass. So... If we're going to put in a window, we might as well just make the glass corridor. All right, I'll make the, I'll make glass corridors on the outside of the base, like if it's going to be on the outside. But any parts that are on the inside, I will I'll make uh, I'll make regular corridors. All right. So let's go ahead and finish this hatch. Get inside. So it's going to go this way and this way, so we can put reinforcement here. And that's it, right? Yeah, we need more lithium. That's a bummer. 
still like the way that ladder comes down. I just don't, I don't have a better way of doing it. I simply don't. Well, let me put the ladder where I want. All right, whatever. Let's stop worrying about it. All right, so we're going to put a multi-purpose room right here. All right, and then that multi-purpose room is going to be storage. And we're going to put another multi-purpose room over here, which is going to be fish for food. Well, what, what do we need most? Oh, that's right. Da the down part of this is going to be empty. No, I don't need to do that. I'm going to need two storage rooms. So I think we're going to put the other storage room on top. Right? Or we could put the other storage room over here. Is there any reason to put it up top when we don't need to? Um, I'm going to put it up top. I'm going to put it up top. So there's going to be a storage room downstairs. There's going to be a storage room upstairs. We run out of titanium. Yeah. I'll put two alien containment sites. I'm going to call them fish tanks. Call them alien containment, stupid. They are putting fish in them. They're fish tanks, damn it. Uh, I'll put two fish tanks to the right. I'm going to put a, um, something in the back that's going to uh, be for plants. Or maybe I'll put the plants. No, that's fine. I can do that. Could put the plants over here. And then put the fish tank. Yeah. Okay, that's that's an even better idea. All right. So we're gonna put a glass thingy right here. I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go farm some lithium off camera. And then we're gonna put a observatory. Which we, we need enameled glass for that. That's fine. Um, this way will be for the fish tank. It's gonna be the outside, so it's glass. And then the other fish tank will go this way. Okay, we're getting more glass. Fish tank, multi-purpose room. Fish tank right there. Fish tanks, um, you need two stories for them. Fish tank slash alien containment. So we put another one on top. Start running out of titanium. This place is going to be huge and so big and I'm not even going to need all of it. But, who cares? That's the fun of it. Okay. So what do we need? We need, um... More titanium. And more glass. Okay. Titanium and glass. We need enameled glass, too. That means we're gonna need the goddamn stalker teeth. And I have stalker teeth, but not with me. They're at the other base. I'll get them later. Get them some other time. We don't need that stuff right now, anyway. Okay. okay, let's do that. And let's make some more glass. Where am I going to put my crafting stuff? Oh, that's where I wanted to put the crafting stuff. I get it. Okay. Uh, well, damn. Damn, damn, damn. That's right. I wanted the two fish tanks to be over there because the one that was going to be to the north of the storage area is going to be a crafting area. Yeah, this is going to be a storage area. That's going to be a tank. Fish tank. That's going to be a fish tank. And that's going to be a crafting area. And that'll be the crafting area. Okay. Let's go inside and start building some stuff inside now. Our hull strength is getting, uh... Our hull strength is getting perilously low. I'm gonna grab the, uh... The Seamoth and park it in Welcome the, uh... Aboard, Captain. Park it in the, um... The sea pool? <laughs> no, I don't know. Welcome the moon pool. The sea moth pool. That's what I call it. Okay. Just come on over here. You go down here. You kind of move to the right. It's not that hard to get past. It's just kind of sloppy. 
Alright, now this is looking good. Okay. Do I have any glass on me? Nah, not enough to really bother. Well, the first thing I should make down here is the, uh... Is the crafting thingies. So, do I have what I need? I probably don't. Let's see what I need for the, uh... The fabricator. Oh god, I don't even have anything close to it. Can we at least put it up? Where should the fabricator go? Right here, right? Fabricator. What other kind of communication relay should go in here? Uh, fabricator, communication relay. Medical fabricator. Medical fabricator. Um, picture frame. Nah, no, no. Ooh, I should have battery chargers in here, shouldn't I? Battery chargers. All right. Uh, well, I think one battery charger is good, and then probably want two of these. Okay, battery charger and two power cell charger. We're also going to need a modification station. That can go with the battery charger area, I guess. Uh, actually, let's see what else we're going to put on the wall. Uh, you know what? I don't see anything else that's going to go on the wall in here. No. I don't see anything. Uh, no, that's it. Okay, so... Modification station can go somewhere else. Modification station can go right here. Okay. Why isn't this in the middle? This stupid medical thing never goes where I want it to. Alright, let's try again. I'm thinking like right there. Perfect. Haha, <laughs> screw you game. Alright, so we got... Um, we got our crafting fabricator. We've got our communication relay. We've got health kits. We've got modification station. We've got our chargers. I don't think there's anything else I really need to put in this room. Uh, maybe I'll decorate it at some point, but for now, I think it's pretty good. Let's put a desk down. And a chair. Put the chair like this, like kind of like... We're not quite sitting there, but it's there. We'll just sit in the chair and pull it in. Can I sit in the chair? There we go. Okay, maybe I should put it... Maybe I should put it flush with the desk then. Chair. And what can I put behind it? Let's put the trash can right there. That's a big freaking trash can. Um, what would I put in front of the, the uh, picture frame? Yeah. Yeah, that's like it's, um... There we go. It's like a... Oh, not enough space, damn it. Okay, hold on a sec. Is that good? There we go. See? Oh, sweet. This place is going to be awesome. Alright, guys. This video is going long. I'm going to call it here. Do some farming off camera. That's going to be it for episode 16. Caution. And we'll see... Mild dehydration detected. Okay, and we'll see you next... Alright, take it easy, lady. I'm trying to end the video. Uh, that's going to be it for episode 16. We'll see you next time for episode 17. Till then, take it easy.